Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another League of Legends video, and I finally have come back with a build guide. I haven't done one of these in a long, long time, but today I'm going to do a build guide on a player who is considered by many to be at the moment the best player in OCE because he's currently in Korea and he's currently ranked 8. I think he peaked at rank 4. He goes by the name of Schoenfire. He does have a stream, link will be in the description if you want to go check that out. I'm not sure how often he streams, but definitely go check that out if you want to. He's a jungle main and he plays a lot of champions and actually plays quite a few roles as well. But obviously he's a jungle main as I said, and the player he plays the most is Graves. So this is going to be a Graves build guide. And so basically I'm just going to go through his runes, masteries, skill order and obviously his item build now his item build is a bit different to what most people are building on graves so that's another reason why I wanted to do this video so without further ado let's do this so first of all summoner spells you obviously want to take flash and smite in the jungle with graves now we'll move on to the runes and masteries and we'll start with his mastery page so he takes a pretty standard graves jungle mastery page that most people would take 12 18 0 with Thunderlord's Decree being his keystone mastery. A few Graves players would take Strength of the Ages, but right now Thunderlord's is a lot better because it provides that extra amount of damage. As for his rune page, he would take 9 Armor Penetration Reds, 9 Scaling Health Yellows, 9 Attack Speed Blues, 1 Attack Speed Quints, and then the 2 Attack Damage Quints. You guys can just pause the video and copy his rune and mastery page if you want to. Okay, now we're going to move on to his item build. So his starting items are pretty simple, a hunter's machete and a refillable potion. His first back, he will often look to upgrade his refillable potion into a hunter's potion and then maybe get either two long swords or buy straight into his tier 2 boots, Berserker Greaves. His core items are then going to be Skirmisher Saber into Warrior, Berserker Greaves and then Ghost Blade, which is slightly different to the most common build on Graves right now. Most people, instead of going Ghost Blade, would build Phantom Dancer and then into Death Stance. However, Shurnfire very rarely builds Death Stance. In fact, in his last 30 games or so on Graves Jungle, I don't think I saw him build Death Stance once. Now, I think the Death Stance build is still a viable pick on Graves Jungle. However, if that's the only build that you're using on Graves, maybe you should consider trying out this build and see if you much prefer it or if you like it or not. Moving on, the item that he would get after Ghost Blade would either be Dust Blade, more of Malmordius, or Phantom Dancer. Obviously, he will pick more of Malmordius against heavy AP comps, otherwise he would go Dust Blade, and then occasionally he seems to go with Phantom Dancer. I guess he would pick Phantom Dancer if he's looking for more survivability, so maybe his team comp doesn't have any tanks or he's up against a lot of 1v1 duelists. But as I said before, after Ghost Blade, he would often get Dust Blade. And this is interesting to note because on the top three servers, so NA, Korea, and EU West, the Graves Jungle build with the highest win rate currently is when you go Warrior into Ghost Blade and then Dust Blade. However, this build is nowhere near the most popular, so it's definitely something I recommend trying out if you're a Graves player. As for his final build, an example would be Warrior, Berserker, Greaves, Ghost Blade, Dusk Blade, more of Malmordius, and Mercurial Scimitar. As for other items that he would consider is obviously Phantom Dancer, Mortal Reminder, maybe Guardian Angel, and Infinity Edge. Moving on to his skill order, his first four levels would be Q, E, Q, W. He would then max Q first, E second, W third, and obviously his ultimate whenever you can. Finally, I just want to go through his jungle path thing. So on both sides, he will start on the top hand side, just because in Challenger, the bot lane often likes to take that bottom camp, so either the Krugs or the Gromp. So he will start on the top hand side and basically just do a full clear, but obviously you can't get that last camp because the bot lane took it. So once he gets that last buff, so either going to be the red buff if he's starting on this side, or the blue buff on the other side, he would then look to gank or invade or just make some sort of play on the map before he backs. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't made one of these in a while, so let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it or not. And as always, have a nice day.